Hi, I'm uh, Susie Malouf. I graduated December 2015. I'm Christopher Abad, and I graduated from Golden Gate in the Master's in Tax program about six years ago. My name is Charlotte Hoppy. I graduated from GGU in the evening program a year and a half ago. My name is Daniel Sanchez. I graduated from GGU six months ago. I'm Walan Lau. I graduated from GGU two and a half years ago. So my day-to-day -day responsibilities at Cisco as a project manager, I'm a functional lead in the M&A post-integration work, which means that when Cisco acquires companies, we get together as a team from various teams and work together to integrate the operations of the acquired companies into the Cisco existing business in the country where these operations exist. As a manager, uh, my main role on the engagement is to keep it running very, very smoothly, both from an internal and an external perspective. So my role internally is to make sure that my team, the staff and senior that are working with me, have the time and the resources they need to get their job done, um, that the partner above me has the time he needs to review and get into some of the technical details of the work we're doing, and then also managing the client expectations. I have the ability to not only you know, interact with clients and help clients um, achieve their goals and answer some of their complex tax issues and you know problems that they're having in their business but I also get to mentor the younger folks who are you know coming out of undergrad they're learning the ropes of the profession you know as a tax specialist at PwC what I do is um, I work with a lot with the work papers themselves getting them prepared uh, for senior review um, a lot of data gathering data analysis um, asking questions uh, if Right now, we're currently working through implementing a new process. So, you know, I'm in there exploring some of the tools, some of the benefits of the new software we're trying to implement. Now that I'm a senior, I do a lot more uh, tax planning and advisory work, which is a lot of fun. Uh, once you've learned enough about compliance work, you can now kind of get your foot into doing more planning work and advisory work. Um, those projects are usually more technical and requires a lot more task research skills. I really enjoyed uh, coming to school and I'm very proud of uh, coming to GGU and getting my masters from here. So all the professors were fantastic. It was a wonderful experience. I did have the benefit of taking both the online classes and live courses in, in the Master's in Tax program, which was great because there, there were certain semesters where I was, I was traveling for work and um, you know having the flexibility to do the online courses was great for me during those semesters. Um, I, I, I do I would try to take the, the live courses as much as possible because I enjoyed the interaction with the professor and the other colleagues and classmates I had. For me, it was a great program. Not only did I finish my master's in nine months, I, I definitely learned a lot. I, I made real strong relationships with my classmates, with uh, people, professionals that came to the meet the firms, all the lunch and learns. That was really great. I was able to network. And when it came time to do the interviews, they recognized me, I recognized them, so we built a stronger uh, bond. What I loved is the fact that I had material from school that I could actually go to as I'm visiting issues that I'm seeing on a daily basis and resort to my school material to answer questions that are happening on a day-to-day -day basis in meetings. So when I prepared for meetings, I would look at my material. PwC does a lot of uh, lunch and learns and they go through topics and some of the topics were some of the topics I've seen and I've studied at school so it made a bit more sense compared to other students from other schools. Having done the Masters in Tax at Golden Gate has really opened me up to have the ability to work with a lot of these great tech companies in San Francisco like you know I've worked with Uber and Zendesk and, and Reddit. I've been able to get an additional project which is very exciting for me, which is getting tax incentives for Cisco globally. Uh, and the fact that I got my MS allowed me to meet with the VP of tax and who gave me the opportunity to work on this project. Uh, so it opened up doors for me. It's not gonna teach you everything, but it does teach you, teach you for me, uh, how to research, um, how to look at a, a code, how to understand a code. It, you know, in tax, we're just giving, throwing out random codes, and 
for I what I've done is I've actually gone into the code and read the explanation, so it gives me a better foundation uh, on what exactly we're dealing with. And Gigi does a really good job at that. Partner, um, she kind of knew the answer, but she asked me to do the tax research for for the client, trying to come up with like some ideas. And you know, there's something very new to me that I don't really know much about. Uh, but you know, I it went online and. Which is something that I actually learned when I was in GCU, where I took a test research class, so I kind of knew like where to look. Uh, but you know, being able to apply what I learned and you know, coming up with an idea and then ultimately presenting to to the senior manager, to the partner, and they were okay with it, and then um, they in turn presented it to the client. Uh, I think that was huge. It wasn't just the material that I was learning, which was directly relevant to what I was doing. But it was the ability to then go away. And if I had another question that I hadn't directly learned about, it's okay because I had the skills now to find the answer by myself. I think the other thing that Gigi really did prepare me was all the soft skills, all the lunch and learn sessions that I had. Those were really, really helpful. Um, during the interview process, you know, you learn a lot about like how to present yourself, how to do public speaking, how to talk to people. And I think those are still relevant, even with me right now, in, you know, talking to clients, talking to other colleagues that I have. And I think those are stuff that I, I learned a lot from when I was in GGU. It's not just crunching numbers, it's, it's a lot of interaction, whether it be with staff, managers, or uh, even partners. I take a lot of calls during the day. Um, I really enjoy that part of it. It lets me use all my pre-gained tax knowledge. While you're preparing tax return, you could be working with so many different people, um, especially if you work on a client that has many issues. So you will be working with the state and local tax team, you'll be working with the international tax team. There are just many people involved. I think there is a little bit of a stigma from outsiders to think that maybe the accounting or the tax world is a little bit stale or boring. I, I, I think when you're actually working in the tax world, um, that, that's not the case. There's a good mixture of client work, um, client interaction, whether it be you know, responding to emails or having calls with clients, um, to doing practice development, to where I might be doing some research on a client or working with the team to identify um, targets or, or new clients for the firm. Uh, meeting with my manager about perhaps new projects that could be coming up that we need to manage for, uh, a lot of budget talk, uh, budget is a big issue because all of the work that we do is all project related. I guess what I really enjoy about tax is the opportunity that it gives you. Um, whether it be to improve your technical aspect of tax or um, improving other traits. For me, I have had an opportunity to go to client meetings, so that exposes me to other other sorts of people and how they think, how they run their businesses. You know, you have insight into all of your clients' activities, right? You, you have visibility into the client books, you, you see what the clients are doing, you, you have visibility into what investors are doing. Getting to work collaboratively with an amazing and intelligent group of people who are all very committed to learning this difficult career. Uh, we have a good time together and that's my favorite. There's a lot of uh, thought that goes into tax. There is a, a logic, wisdom. I mean, you've got all of the codes and regulations that you that are there that you need to abide by, but there's also interpretation. There are different points of views, different direction. So it's really, it's a creative exercise. It's definitely challenging. Uh, there's always a lot to learn. Every day, it's, it's, every day is not the same day. Um, so that, I, that keeps it interesting. Everybody is constantly learning new things, which makes the job more interesting because things are always changing. And every year, even when you're doing compliance work, it could be very different from what you did last year. Um, that really keeps the job very exciting uh, and challenging at the same time. Just how much I know, I just can't believe it. Eight years in, um, being able to be in a position of advising you know, clients that are making billions of dollars a year that look to me for sound tax advice. I realized that it was a time uh, in the economy where technical expertise um, added value 
to the work that I was doing and uh, there were a lot of layoffs that were happening around me everywhere and uh, my thinking was to improve my education so I would be in a better position should layoffs hit me in the future. Ever since I started working in tax, a lot of my mentors in the profession had the masters from Golden Gate. So, what you know, I, I knew I wanted to do the master's program here at Golden Gate, but I wanted to get the CPA license done first. So after I had finished my CPA exam and, and gotten my CPA license, I was working at a national firm in San Francisco, and I thought this was a, a perfect way to accelerate my career and move my career forward. So right after uh, undergrad, I decided to take a year off. That, in that year, I worked as an accounts payable specialist. Um, then I switched over to do individual taxes for a smaller firm. Um, I really enjoyed taxes, and being an undergrad, uh, I, I decided I wanted to continue my education, and one of my friends introduced me to Golden Gate University. I, I felt that taking the Masters in Tax would help me a great deal technically, um, so I was, I'd was i already worked several years in the field, and I was really looking to kind of up my game technically, and make sure that I had a solid foundation in everything I needed to know for my career. I've always had an interest in tax, so I decided to pursue a tax master at GGU so I can get into, uh, get my foot in the industry and eventually get a job in tax. If they're looking for a challenge, if they're looking for a place where it's consistently learning, um, not the day to day is not going to be the same. There's always a lot to learn. I think tax is a really good um, career choice. With the tax law, there's no, sometimes there's just no black and white, and there are some gray areas um, that you can use to minimize tax liability and do all sort of tax planning. It's just interesting to see there are just so many ways to get to the answer, and there are just so many approaches that you can do. And so to me, that's very exciting, and it's very, very interesting that there's just no one way to the answer. So it's kind of like solving a puzzle. Somebody that does really well in tax is somebody that that is willing to learn, that is a sponge and wants to absorb all this material because it's a lot. And somebody that can be uh, organized, somebody that can deliver. Uh, when I say deliver, I mean communicate effectively with others, try to get your point across. Uh, those are some of the key aspects of of what this career takes.